Hello everybody, Dean Martin 95 here about ready to do our fourth test run or the fourth video in this series uh, checking out uh, our jetting. I just dropped down to uh, I got a number 35 and a 108 in here. This is a PD 24J, just a standard 24 millimeter carb. I'm hoping this is going to get me back. Uh, in our last video, uh, basically, long story short, I installed an oxygen sensor. This right here is your uh, gauge. It reports a number. Without going into details, 14.7 is what you're looking for. That's what's considered perfect AFR, air fuel ratio. So, that's what we're going for. Now, I've got the 14.7 pretty much. It fluctuates from 14 down to 13.5, uh, then up to 15. But it's pretty much staying right at 14 with the 35. Uh, now, on uh, the main jet, I was jumping up to, uh, when, when I had the 110 in there, when I went all the way up to high RPM, I was dropping down, going down into the 12. Now, when going back to that number, let me bring you up to speed in case you're just jumping in on this video. When, uh, when you're going for that number, 14.7, if you drop down below, that means you're getting rich. Like, say you get down to 12, you're rich. If you go up higher, like in the 14, 15, 18, 20, whatever, you're going lean. So, where we, we were at about 12 on our uh, high RPMs when we went into high RPM range. So, we're trying to get that as close to 14 as we can. Let's see where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and fire her up and test it out. This is the gauge. As I said in my last video, you'll notice that number slowly rise. That's from the auto enricher. See, now we're getting up in, in the optimal. This little orange LED, you want it to say optimal. You're hoping for a green bar. I shouldn't have hit that throttle before the choke closed. These auto chokes really are pretty crappy. A manual choke is the best way to go. So now I gotta wait for it to level out. All right, close enough. I think she's warm. In case anyone's wondering, my RPMs are right at a steady 1800. Staying real close to 14.7. Bouncing around a bit, but. Alright, let's check these high RPMs. Hear that backfiring? Now this is with a 105 in here. Come on, level out. 
I'm letting you guys watch the gauge and listen to the motor. I wish I could show the RPMs at the same time. Actually, I could if I hooked up a little digital RPM meter. See, hitting that throttle leveled it out. Although it keeps on dropping back down to 13. I'm going to go ahead and richen it up a little bit with uh, air fuel screw. I gave it about one quarter a turn clockwise. That shuts off the air. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do hand signals. 4,000 RPM, 5,000, 6, well, I guess I ain't going to do that because I'm going to have to have a hand on the throttle. All right. Okay, so as we get up into the high RPMs, my lambda's going down, my AF, my stoichi, that number right there is called your stoichiometric reading, in case anybody wants to learn a big word. So that 14.7 keeps on, when I hit the high RPMs, keeps on taking me down into a uh, stupid mosquito. Uh, it's taking me down into the 12, 11 range. It's, it's way, way too rich at high RPM. I don't get it. These things come stock with the 105 uh, idle or 105 main jet. So uh, it could be, I've got the A9 camshaft in here, which is a very, very aggressive cam. It's got a high lift. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly. I mean, I'm gonna. My next step here, guys and gals, is to take it down to a 105, which is back stock. But as you can tell, I got the KNN free flow air filter on there. Uh, pretty much everything, you know, I've got a 61 millimeter big bore kit. Uh, hmm. Right now, I'm in the troubleshooting method, guys and gals, and I figure. You guys will find this helpful. So, all right, uh, I'll be back on the next video, and we'll try a 105. And if I can't get it straightened out with 105, then I'm gonna have to figure something else out. I may go back down to the stock camshaft. I'm not sure. So, anyways, uh, D Mart 95, hit me up at the forum if you want to discuss any of this. DansGarageTalk.com. Again, that's dansgaragetalk.com. Thanks, guys and gals. Bye.